Alright, so hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to root your HTC Incredible phone um, from Verizon Wireless. First, you want to remove the case, remove the SD card, and back up anything that you um, think is necessary. Uh, most of the uh, most of the items, um, apps you can re-download and such, and your contacts should be in your Google or other backup assistant, um, whichever one you use. Backup assistant's free uh, from Verizon if you have a My Verizon online to pay your bills which most of you probably do, so you can just use that um, or your Google account, whichever one, and um, make sure you back up your photos, all that stuff, just make sure you back everything up because it is probably going to disappear. Um, just thought you know that, you know. But we're going to be using the unrevoked um, root here, and it's really simple. Um, basically you just click on your phone here, you got the, the Evo, the Hero, the Aria, uh, Desire, and our phone, the HTC Incredible. Um, Droid Incredible, my bad. Basically, you just click here, and it'll detect your operating system, but if you have Linux or Windows, um, it's going to be very... Linux and Mac are pretty much the same. Windows, you need to install a driver. Um, I'll try and get a Windows machine within the next couple days, and I'll maybe record one for Windows. But this is basically for Mac, um, and so if you have a Mac, this would be really simple. Windows, it's a bit different, but you basically do the same thing. You install a driver, and then you run the software and it'll do it just for you. So you download that, I didn't really need to click that because I have my desktop, but anyhow. Um, then you open the reflash right there, reflash, it says two because I downloaded it multiple times. But you open that up, you drag the reflash to um, desktop, and you open it up. You open it up, and you wait a second. Um, my background is the Apple um, event for the iPad. Okay, so basically, once you have that open, it's going to be waiting for a device, and then you plug in the phone now and enable USB debugging. Um, it doesn't matter what order you do it in, so I'm just going to go under settings. Uh, let's see, what was it? Applications, development, um, and USB debugging is up top there. Ah, uh, blurry. Short focus length on flip camera. Not exactly the best. But anyhow, um, USB debugging, you just check it. USB device stand for development process on the yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, you just exit out of that. And the next thing you do is plug in your phone here. Let's see if I can do it one handed. Yeah. My short USB cable that I got from monoprice.com. Uh, there we go. It's plugged in. I'm scared to death. Recovery image is the clockwork recovery image. Waiting for bootloader. Uh, my first time ever rooting a phone. Well, not first, second for the video. Anyhow, let's see how this goes. It's doing its thing, waiting for a bootloader. Yay! So they don't have to do anything, so it's running the pre-boot sequence right now. Um, there we go. HTC Incredible. Oh, I'm nervous. Whenever I screw with my phone, it's like, ah, if I lose it, you know. It's not a good thing. I need my phone for work and all that jazz. You guys know how your phones are? Yep. Uh, I'm just rambling on right now. I really don't know what I'm talking about. See, the thing is, it's unrevoked 3, but, like, on the little image it says Evo 2. Which kind of bugged me, but I clearly read that it's the 3.1 version. Okay, it's rebooting into recovery right now. I'm all reading this from here. I really... I kind of know, but I, I really don't know. I haven't done this often at all. <sighs> Waiting for a device. I'm not responsible for anything you guys do. So... Um... Yeah, it's done. We are done. We are in the clockwork recovery right here. And that is... Your device is rooted now. Um, I'll put some videos on some more things you can do, but the clockwork recovery is where it's at. Um, in this, you just hit the... I'll show you how to get back to your main first here. Um, reboot system now. You just hit the little uh, optical trackball, and it reboots your system. And you can close it out of the reflash. Um, there it goes. And then you'll just root you back into a standard stock 2.1 cents 
nothing's done. Um, you just have root access now, so you can download root apps and you set CPU and stuff like that. Um, so you can use all those kind of apps, but uh, to flash custom ROMs, I'll do a video later. But there's some pretty sweet stuff you can do. Um, you can install new kernels, which undervolt your CPU to uh, get you better battery life. And there's a lot of really cool stuff that you can do. Um, and I'll get into that later. I'm, I'm new to Android, so I'm not a genius. But that is how you root your phone. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll just you know show you that it actually boots up okay. <laughs> but um, Unrevoked did a great job on this. It's very, very, very user-friendly. And there we go. Da -da 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 -da, preparing phone storage. Dude, let's see if it says anything cool. Da -da -da -da. Anything? Anything super user? Da -da -da -da. Anyhow, my phone is rooted. I said to prove to you guys that I rooted it. Super user permissions right down here is the ninja guy. And then you got preferences. And you're pretty much good to go. Um, do whatever you want now. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next Android-related video slash something else. I'm not sure what it is yet. If you like this video, subscribe. And uh, thanks a lot for watching. See ya.